And to kick off Chamorro Month, or Mesh Chamorro, the village of Umatic, or Humatak, held festivities all weekend long. And today is part of its Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day celebration. This new holiday is actually a reboot of the former Discovery Day, which the village of Humatak has celebrated for generations in commemoration of explorer Ferdinand Magellan's landing on Guam. It used to be called Discovery Day. Now it's called Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day. It's a GovGuam holiday that was taken away and then given back just last year, thanks to a bill introduced by Senator Tommy Morrison. It's a celebration that the people of Umatic, or Humatic, have been holding for generations, originally to commemorate explorer Ferdinand Magellan's landing on Guam, and now to celebrate Guam's rich history and its unique Chamorro heritage. This is not only about Umatic, this is all about everybody, about the Chamorros, you know. Uh, we want to make everybody, you know, come down here because this is a holiday, and this is uh, what it's all about. It's about uh, the Chamorros. So we want everybody to come down, bring their families down, and come down and enjoy themselves. And at the festivities, people can enjoy enjoy all sorts of food, entertainment and games like coconut husking and the greased pig catching competition as well as reenactments of the landing of Magellan. The Humatic Community Foundation is also holding tours of Humatic's six historic sites. Each site have at least three or four youth that uh, can share with the visitors uh, the history of that site, uh, the history of Humatic, and, and uh, again share with them how they live down here and, and what they do here. These sites begin with the F.Q. Sanchez School, followed by the old San Dionisio Church ruins that date back to the Spanish era. Then there is the San Dionisio Church that was built in 1939. And right, right behind that church is a, uh, the foundation of the old governor's palace, the Palacio, the summer palace. Uh, during the Spanish period, the governor would come down here and spend his summer waiting for the ships to come in. Uh, right after that, you walk down the, the street and you, uh, you hit the uh, outdoor library, the one and only outdoor library here in Guam. Uh, you go further and you will uh, meet the youth uh, down at Fort Santo Angel uh, and they will explain to you uh, about that fort. The festivities kicked off on Friday and will last until 12 midnight tonight before picking up again next weekend. The final celebration will be on Sunday of next weekend.